when I was working on my game, everything was working fine on my PC. But when I built this project for my Android phone, some of the feature of the game was not working. So I have to find a way to debug my Android application. And in this video, I will show you how you can debug your Unity application. So without wasting any time, let's start this video. As you can see in the editor, when I start the game and hit the play button, the game starts. And when the player dies, this restart screen appears. And when I click on this restart button, the game reloads without the main menu. And when I build the same application for Android, the restart button is not working properly. To build this application for Android, I will go in File, Build Setting, and I will click on Build and Run. Now on my phone, when I click on this play button, the game start and when I die and click on this restart button, the game restart with the main menu. This is a small error, but I want when the player click on the restart button, the game restart and the player should not see the main menu. First method to debug this Android application is through Android device monitor. And to find this Android device monitor, you have to go to the folder where you have stored the SDK and I will go on tools and inside this I will find a monitor.bat I will double click to open this and it will open this application I have created a new filter for the unity and to create a filter I will click on the plus sign and I will write the name unity and for the log tag I will write unity I will change the name to unity2 now hit ok now you need to connect your android device and run the unity application after running the unity application and inside this you will find the debug.log and also the unity error as you can see i have an error in my script and when i click on the restart button we can change this to error so that i can only see the error and when i click on the restart button this error is appearing but right now we don't know where i am getting this error so for this we have to debug our application using the Visual Studio and to debug your application through Visual Studio we have to create a development build I will go on file build setting and I will select the development build and I want the script debugging so I will select it and I also want my application to wait for the manage debugger so I will select this also now after this I will click on build and run for the development build, it will take more time than usual and when the application start on your android phone, it will show this dialog and now switch to visual studio and to debug your android application using visual studio, you should have a unity extension installed on visual studio. Now I will close it. To debug this application, I will click on debug and attach a debugger. And after this, I will select my phone and click OK. Now I will press OK on my Android phone. Now when the process complete, I will start the game. And when I press this restart button, this error appear. In my application, this script is not able to find this rigid body. That's why it is showing me the null reference exception. Now to solve this, I have changed the execution order of this script. So these are the two ways by which you can debug your Unity application. And if you have learned anything from this video, don't forget to like this video and hit the subscribe button. You can share this video to your friends because we all need to debug our unity application thank you so much for watching this and i will see you in the next video